Good morning students. In this video, we will discuss about functional dependency preserving. What is the definition of it and how to make you understand in a simple way I will discuss. Okay. So let me read out the definition. Decomposition D is set R1, R2, R so on Rm of R. Meaning is that they have decomposed the relation R into R1, R2 so on up to Rm is said to be dependency preserving okay with respect to f okay with respect to f means the f d is if union of the projections of f on each ri in d is equal to f i think i know you you did not understand from the definition let me explain the definition in a simple way you have a relation r and you have decomposed the relation into r1 r2 r3 R4. Now the original relation will have some attributes A, B, C, D. With those attributes, they would have given some set of FDs. Okay, they have given some five FDs. They have given from the original relation R. Now after decomposing the relation R into R1, R2, R3, R4. Now R1 will have some set of FDs. We have discussed in the previous example. R2 also will have some set of FDs. R3 also will have some set of FDs, similarly R4 also. Now if you combine our union of all the FDs possible in R1, R2, R3 and R4, if you get all the FDs which are there in R, meaning is that FDs of R1, union FDs of R2, union R3, union R4 is equal to R, then I can say that if functional dependency preserving is happening. If not, I will say that functional dependency preserving is not happening. Now, remember this one point. This is very important point. So, please make it note of this point. Whenever you are decomposing a table into a smaller tables or whenever you are decomposing a relation into smaller relation, in normalization we will do it. In the coming videos we will discuss about the normalization. In normalization we will decompose the relation into smaller relation. Whenever we are decomposing into smaller relations, always the lossless decomposition should be there. It should not be lossy decomposition. If it is a lossy decomposition, whatever the decomposition you have done is wrong decomposition. You should correct yourself. But if it is a functional dependency preserving, the decomposition, whatever you are doing, it should be lossless decomposition and coming to the functional dependency preserving. If it is an optional, meaning is that if functional dependency preserving is happening, it is okay. If it is not happening also, no problem. Meaning is that lossless decomposition is compulsory whereas functional dependency preserving is optional so that's why lot of people does not give much emphasis on functional dependency preserving but anyway i will discuss the functional dependency preserving with few examples so that you will understand functional dependency preserving how it will work and how you can solve the questions which will come in the gate exam or any competitive exams thank you so much